Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. February 2021 please. Message for Pisces, thank you. On the table, please. Message for Pisces. Thank you. Two of coins. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Pisces. Thank you. Okay, we have courage. Angels, what is the message that Pisces needs to hear, please? February 2021, thank you. Message Pisces needs to hear. We have recovery. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that. The energies may well overlap. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. February 2021, please. Nope. I'm just going to take the ones that have turned up. Actually, I'll just take these cards. So let's put those there. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. That came out reverse. The Six of swords and we have the seven of cups let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for pisces please angels spirits guides Thank you. Oh, it's interesting. I've got the Wheel of Fortune reversed and we have the Ten of Wands reversed. I mean, I mean it literally just rolled out reversed here. Six of Cups is clarifying the Seven of Wands. Six of Swords is clarified by the Death card here, Pisces. And the Seven of Cups absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful the sun ace of wands it's absolutely beautiful energy i have to say <laughs> but some challenging energies as well It feels in this situation, Pisces, that you want to get back to where you were, uh, back on top. I'm definitely getting this energy of I want to get back to where I was. Um, happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment. Two of Pentacles, it, it can actually be juggling money. And it feels in this situation, it feels in this situation, Pisces, I mean, something feels like it's knocked you off balance. But there's a wonderful energy here of 
this two of coins isn't overwhelming you to the point that it's not within your control. Sometimes you see this person juggling and dancing at the same time because even though it's on a knife edge whether they're going to drop, some, some, drop something, they don't. They carry out the tasks, they prioritize, they do the things that they need to do. Even though something feels overwhelming, it's well within, it's well within your control to bring recovery to a situation. And that's what you're being told here. I mean, it could be to do with money, career, finances. And the message is courage, have courage. Stand in your own power, your own strength your own resoluteness to overcome any challenge that fate comes your way. You know, the line energy, the courage energy is all about standing in your own power, facing things head on. And it's interesting, I've got Leo energy here with the seven of wands, which is a card of facing that which films feels overwhelming and being in your power to rise above it and overcome it by, by your sheer power, determination, will and action. So there's definitely, this is reinforced by this card, the courage card, have courage being your strength now, because that which overwhelms you, you have the power to bring recovery and overcome this situation this month. Hence why we're getting so many reversals. <laughs> um, yeah. Seven of Swords, you know, is the Thief card. It is, it can be a card of, of betrayal, it can be a card of deception, it can be a card of self-sabotage. So what resonates for you right now? I mean, take it as you will. Some of you could have gone through this, you know. Um, or sometimes, yeah, maybe somebody got away with something. Maybe you feel somebody got away with something. Um, it kind of feels in this situation, Pisces, don't let it hold you back, you know? You might have felt this held you back a little bit, whatever this situation was, whether it's your own, I mean, sometimes we do self-sabotage, but it feels in this kind of energy. You've had a... Uh, a run of bad luck, however this happened, that held you back in a situation. Um, because again, the Wheel of Fortune. It feels in this energy, Pisces, it feels like a run of bad luck. And something feels like it's been overwhelming. It really does. Certainly with those energies there. It feels like something has been almost kind of like overwhelming, too much to bear. But there is a release coming soon, that's for sure. The burden that it feels like has built up over some time here. It feels for some of you that there is the release coming. Sometimes that Seven of Swords is you get to where you want to be by not always being, oh, I mean, it could be by not being overly truthful, it could well be, I mean, you know when they talk about not everybody tells the truth on their CV, that kind of energy, I mean, you know, I mean, there's levels to this card, but it, it can sometimes be about the objective is this and how I get there has to be done in some kind of covert hidden manner where things aren't fully clear, you know, where I'm not revealing my card, so to speak, because it doesn't help me get the goal. So it might well be for some of you to get to that goal that you want to get at now. You're having to do this under the radar for whatever reason, but there's definitely some kind of a release of the burdens, a release of bad luck coming your way. You're beginning to understand how to turn things in your favor for that reason. So take it as you will. The Seven of Wands is a card of stand resolute. Even though something feels overwhelming, you are getting on top of a situation. It feels like you want to get back what you had in the past. I'm definitely getting this energy of want to get back on top. And it, it might well be the only way to do this is covertly. Uh, it can be a card of secret actions, secret agendas, putting a hidden plan into action, that kind of energy. But it's definitely bringing some release of some 
challenging burdens. Um, and again, this six of, cups, six of Cups can be a card of, of revisiting the past. So it doesn't feel in the sense uh, something's coming back from the past. It feels more like you want to get back where you were, what you might have lost. You know, it feels in this kind of energy, you want to get back on top. And that's what I'm feeling. I mean, the Six of Cups is also a lovely card of joy, happiness, reconnecting to who you are. So again, reconnecting to who you are to to overcome the challenge that faces you here and it, i'm definitely getting this energy of possibly more money and career here because where you haven't seen progress i mean definitely where you haven't seen progress in a situation which I, i'm definitely getting the energy of it's going to end there is a final ending here um it feels like the challenge the burden whatever's been holding you back whatever you feel has been going against you it feels like things have just been it can sometimes be a turn of events just going against you things just not working out you know it, it sometimes can be about going for opportunity and it falling through you know having an interview and then it being postponed you know it's, it's these kind of energies just events just seem to be working against you and it's been challenging and again that death card is saying it's coming to an end so i love the death card for that reason because it's saying the transformation is now your transformation of emerging from the old to the new is coming your way so be ready for that because it definitely feels in this situation something is going to end. And again, I mean, sometimes there's an energy of, you know, upright, this can be about choice, opportunity, more than one opportunity. But again, with this, the Seven of Cups reversed, it feels in this situation either... A situation that you might have felt overwhelmed by. Um, where you might not have seen any choice. Where you couldn't see those dreams, hopes, dreams and wishes manifesting. is coming to an end. Because again, there is good news, celebration, joy. Uh, a release from the past. A release from challenge. That is the sun energy. It is a card of release. It's a card of okay the challenge is over the good times are to come now it's a card of success it's very good in terms of material success it talks about growth things spring into life so i definitely get in this energy i mean it's a real positive energy of good news celebration joy happiness good times to come uh growth beginning to happen so it feels it feels like you've had a run of bad luck pisces and I definitely get this in the cards. The run of bad luck is about to come to an end. Because we have the Ace of Wands, which is things are going to change. You know, definitely these energies of change and transformation. Because here, you sometimes see the sun beginning to rise. And here you see the sun fully risen. So there is the glimmer of hope here, uh, followed by things beginning to happen you know the event happening could be in the form of opportunity coming your way uh things taking on a life of their own new life happening on something so it might well be i mean if you've been disappointed by opportunity in the past um it definitely feels it just wasn't meant to be things happen when they're meant to happen the wheel of fortune means that in whichever upright or reverse things happen when they're meant to happen with only god the universe the divine knowing when they're meant to happen you know it's fate it's destiny and there's definitely an energy of the time is now with the sun card things are beginning to take on a life of their own beginning to happen being energized and again we have the new beginning coming the opportunity finally it feels in this situation finally uh, light at the end of the tunnel the glimmer and then there is the light stepping into your light your power feeling good um releasing the obstacle of the past and you know this is also a card of alignment uh aligning to where you need to be 
And again, two cards of Scorpio energy, which is again the death card. It, it feels like death, destruction, transformation, rebirth. It feels like this is your rebirth. Um, it is the rebirth of a new beginning. Uh, ready, where you're ready to shed an old skin and embrace new possibilities and align to where the universe is absolutely guiding you. Remember, the sun is divine light. And you're being asked to allow endings. So it feels definitely in this situation the ending is coming to what has been a difficult cycle. And there is an, there is an opportunity to release that now and align with the direction that you're meant to go in. And again, it feels that's the opportunity here. It's a powerful, powerful energy, Pisces. I don't see that combination of cards very often. And I don't normally do reversals, but because they came out, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but it feels a very deep reading for somebody. You've been really challenged. I mean, the Ten of Wands builds up generally over a period of time. So over a period of time, it just feels like something has really tested you and put you through the mill. But nevertheless, I love the fact that there is definite light, joy, the opportunity. And again, the Ace of Wands can be, I mean, it could be, you, it can sometimes be about you starting up a new business. It can be a card of inspired action, uh, can be to do with job offers, can be to do with uh, business opportunities, partnerships, that kind of energy. Um, but it promises growth and such potential to really grow into something successful. It is a new beginning card. And it feels like you just can finally get off this treadmill of bad luck, I have to say. Um, yeah. Final message for Pisces. I do feel for you in this, in this reading, Pisces, because it's tough energy. But I love the fact that these cards have come out at the end. Very, very beautiful indeed. And very, very positive. Definitely this energy of delays that are over. Final message for Pisces, please. Angel spirits, guides. Yeah. It's easier said than done, but we have monkey in a child don't take life too seriously yeah and then we have llama soul growth growth is never easy have faith and trust in the journey and that's what you're absolutely being told to do you know this is a, a, a journey towards a new beginning you know um but the sun represents yes you move forward you release you overcome challenge but you move forward with greater wisdom, knowledge, experience, which equips you and makes you more powerful for moving forward. So it's a definitely energy. There's definitely been some growth here, though I'm sure not always welcome. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.